Hi, my lovelies. Okay, so we are reacting to her. She finally decided to, the, the Queen finally decided to upload this morning. Um, Starting out the vlog in the bathroom. Ugh, she's already irritating me. Sorry, guys, I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. If you haven't noticed um, or read my um, community tab section, I went to the doctors today. Long story short, surgeon is very happy with everything except a little part of my stomach where it meets the pubic bone. Um, it may be dead skin that he may need to get rid of. So I might need to have a little operation again. Uh, but I'm going back Thursday for him to have another look at it. And then he'll decide from there. I'm just really annoyed because I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want to have to take any more time off work. Uh, I worried about my clients. Um, it's just frustrating. And knowing that this cow had it, didn't even care, and was regaining everything, and she didn't have to go have anything done. Naturally, it worked for her. Perfect first time. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm in a mood, so I'm going to be feisty in this. <laughs> but, um, look, I'm grateful for him saying that. I asked him how long the surgery would take. He said to me, oh, it's very quick. It's only about 30 minutes. Um, sometimes these things happen. The blood vessels don't get to the top. And the skin dies. And I said, oh, okay. So I have to wait till Thursday. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, let's get into this um, cow's reaction. Um, I have not worn this robe in so long. Also, if you haven't watched Country Shade Tree, I believe she's already put one up. I haven't watched it because I don't like to be influenced by Tara. Tara and I are very, very similar. So I prefer to watch hers after I do mine. That way I'm not influenced by anything she says because we say a lot of things that are exactly the same. And I don't, I don't want people thinking that. And I know she doesn't copy me. We just say things that are exactly the same sometimes. We are like one person. She's the American version of me. And um, she, sorry, she's the Australian version of me. And I'm the American version of Tara. We think alike. So if you haven't seen her um, video react, she's hilarious. Go over, pop over to Country Shade Tree and give her a, um, a thumbs up and a subs subscription. Okay. And I'm so excited. I am going to get to my so bathroom. Um, I have not worn this robe in so long. Oh my God, so fucking ugly. It looks like one of her Sherpa jackets. Looks like one of her Sherpa sweaters. I honestly did think it was a Sherpa. A Sherpa one before she even, sorry, I thought it was a thing before she even told me it was a dressing gown. I had it forever and it just sounded so cozy this morning. So I've already been downstairs, Yara and I had breakfast and I'm so excited. I am going to get my hair done. Thank God. Today I. Oh my gosh, she looks ridiculous in this fucking thing here. Seriously, just put a headband on. Do you need to have that? Oh God. I really need it. My roots are so long. It's been yes, no. kind of driving me nuts. <laughs> but I'm super excited. I was no, sorry, guys. I can't watch her scrubbing her face. It makes me want to vomit. It just makes me want to throw up. Tone adapting, buildable coverage SPF. And I it's from Color Science. And it like blew up on TikTok. It's like this tone adapting. Is she fucking serious? More foundation stuff? Oh, my God. Mind you, she just did the empty of her foundation thing. I don't know what she's looking for. Like, what is she looking for? She's very happy with her foundations. I just don't understand why she keeps trying to, to get more and more foundations. I don't understand. Buildable coverage SPF. And I guess you can, like, wear it as foundation. Side note, my skin is completely agreeing with this dime beauty routine, I've been yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. Give it a couple of days. Tinted SPF serums are in. I'm gonna let those soak for a little bit, and then finish off with the dewy day cream. This is not sponsored right now. They sponsored me before, but like I just genuinely love. You guys know how finicky my skin is, so <laughs> love it. It's all clean and stuff too. So understatement. Finicky. It's understatement. The moisturizer a little goes like a very long way. You don't need a lot. We are all hydrated. My hair appointment is, I have to leave in about an hour. So that way I can do my makeup and not rush. But you know the drill, when you get your hair done, you gotta make yourself look cute or you feel like a naked mole rat sitting in that chair. No, no not all, none of my clients look like a naked mole rat. Only you would. 
a cape on up to your neck. That cape really loves to just accentuate the double chin. <laughs> okay. It's not accentuating anything. It's there. You think we can't see your fucking triple chin without the wrap on? Oh, you delusional, delusional. I thought you loved it, though, and wanted to embrace it. So why not sit and look at it for hours if you love it so much, lawyer? Okay, so here is the new product that I got that was on TikTok. I saw a bunch of people trying it. I can't, go, it. sorry. Suitable for all to pull. We will actually be able to replace my foundation or if we're going to need to put foundation over it. The hell's making it look pale? White. The color's looking good though. I feel yeah, like this real is going to be perfect for no makeup days. But like the people I saw use it got like coverage. I'm not getting coverage. But I am getting like. Fuck, she's annoying. Coverage. I'm not getting coverage. Coverage. Fucking irritating cow. It's going to be perfect for no makeup days. But like the people I saw use it got like coverage. I'm not getting coverage. But I am oh getting like. Jeez. I would wear this Sorry. on fucking irritating she is so irritating and i know makeup maybe the people didn't need coverage coverage maybe because their skin is normal skin what the fuck is she putting on now day so here you go letting it oh <gasps> she's doing a marcel muscle oh my god it's white what the fuck but i know she's gonna bronze it up to to high heaven anyway God, I feel like this one's not giving. Maybe I need the darker shade. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I. No, do. I think you do. <laughs> I think it's just. I think I'm just pale, and it's not gonna get like that much deeper. It is pretty. It's just it's not giving me that coverage that I feel like everyone else was getting. It is buildable, so we'll see what we can work with here. What's the point of it? If it's buildable, what's the point of it? You're trying to have a no makeup makeup face and not put a lot on it. And she's going to build it up. She might as well stick to her fucking Estee Lauder double way. But it is super pretty for, like I said, no makeup days. It just evens you out a little bit. You get that sun protection. Let's go in with some more. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Marcel Marceau, eat your heart out. Now, for anyone who doesn't know who he is and is new to my channel, I'll refer to him quite a bit. Marcel Marceau was a, um, oh, I don't think he's dead, sorry, I shouldn't say was, but back in the day, he was a fantastic a French mime artist and he painted his face white. He was a great mimer. <laughs> I don't know if that's what she's going for. <laughs> she looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Like, oh, my God. You can't get like a ton of saturation with this kind of formula, you know? Especially when you're like rubbing it in with your fingers. You can't get that much coverage. Maybe the people who I saw use it just had like, no, you know, people like you got no hope. You need full foundation. You got no hope. You can't use something that's thin. I have like really nice skin. <laughs> like I'm like red and blotchy. The color match though is great. Like so great. I mean, I do really like how it looks. Like, very natural finish, glowy, even me out. I really like this overall. Feels good on the skin. I feel like I have a nice, like, natural glow. It's sitting really, like, nicely. It just looks very real. I feel like it looks like it's just skin, which is great. But, like, it's a thousand percent not giving, like, foundation, I'm which is fine. Well, For some reason, I think I just thought it was going to be, like, foundation. I'm sorry, guys, if you can hear my tummy rumbling. It's the acids in my stomach because I had something to eat and now I'm laying down. Well, I have to lay down and put my feet over this thing to reduce the swelling. Um, I'm sorry. If you can hear it rumbling, I'm really hoping you can't. But I love it regardless because on the days where I don't want to wear like full makeup, I'll be wearing this. Actually, I'll probably wear it most days anyway just for the SPF. But like, look at it. It's pretty, really pretty. I mean, you could wear this in just like spot conceal, but overall... I'd give it like a solid 9 out of 10. Only for that one point where I thought it was going to be like more. There's like a small part of me <laughs> that wants to see if I can build it up to a full foundation. Oh, she is so stupid. I'm sorry, Alexandra, but you are really fucking stupid. You buy something to put on your face for a no makeup makeup look. And now you're talking about putting it on, putting more layers on so it can look for coverage. Do you even fucking know what you want? No, you don't. 
And you know why you don't know what you want? Because you have no fucking life. There, there is no life here happening. You don't have any direction in your life. There is nothing going on. Fuck, who thinks about this shit so much? But I just don't think it's going to happen. And I I'm in a mood, guys. I don't remember if I told you that, but I'm in a mood. <laughs> and I got you. Some of you guys really like it when I'm in my feisty mood. I don't want to waste the product because I do like it. So we're going to do our normal makeup now on top of it. Let's see how it sits. See, now you put a shitload on top of it anyway, and you won't be able to see your skin. So what's your problem? Under makeup. Like, I don't know how it's going to sit once I put, you know, other product on top of it. But I'm going to go in with my favorite right now, the Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint. I just can't get over how good this stuff is. Sorry, you're not meant to use a skin tint after you use the other stuff that you've put on. It's meant to be that's the only thing that you put on and then you can put your blush on and whatever afterwards. What's the point of putting it on if you're going to put a fucking skin tint over it? Oh, my God. Oh, like, it's so pretty. I think mean, that's better for her because it's covering more of her skin. But that's not what the other thing does. You don't need the other thing to go underneath this skin tint. Just use your freaking skin tint then. So far, it's looking really pretty. You're so dumb. With foundation on top, I almost feel like it kind of upped my coverage, you know? And it does give you that really pretty, glowy, natural base. Okay, yeah. I really like layering with that. So if you want to do something... You like layering full stop. Full coverage, it does sit really pretty under other makeup but that's all i wanted to try for a new product so let's just speed through the rest of my makeup thank god oh fuck she's irritating oh that damn necklace she just doesn't stop playing with it Look at the way she's looking at herself. She thinks she's absolutely fucking stunning. Can you guys see Bruno in the back on the couch? I have not worn lashes in so long. Where else is Bruno going to be? He's certainly not going to be outside your backyard running around. God forbid. Poor dog. Long. These are the ones that I got on sale at Target. I think last week they're one of those like jumbo wispy ones, I think. I don't know. I had talked about them in that one. No, love. Mine are jumbo wispy. Yours are not jumbo wispy. Not in the slightest. Vlog, but they're really pretty. Oh my god, yeah, she hasn't even got this one on properly. It's coming, it's already lifting off. And she's just put them on. And I did more of like a brown nudie lip versus like the rosy vibe I normally do. But I love this top. I like never wear this. I got it a really long time ago from Target. I think the neckline is so cute. And then to be comfy, I'm wearing my Aruba oh. velvet oh my uh, joggers. God, she's so. wearing those velvet pants. Oh my god, they're back, guys. They are back with a vengeance. I hate those velvet pants. So yeah, I'm gonna head out now. I'm super, super excited. Like, look at how dark. Look at those roots. So your roots were dark when you came back from the hairdresser. So hopefully they do it properly this time. It's gonna feel so good to get a refresh. And I'm super stoked too because my skims Valentine's Day order just came, so I'm dying to tear into it, but we got to go. So uh, that's that Valentine's Day order that she was having a heart attack. She couldn't have a shower over before she ordered it. Tell you guys when I get back. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I'm back home. Oh, that looks lovely. Much better. Much, much better. She looks like she's got a root smudge there. It's either a root smudge or they have highlighted it and teased it. They've done it different this time. It's not the same as last. The hair is so Yeah, definitely not the same as last the last job. Good. I feel like the root is so blended. And she did some pull through pieces to Beautiful. brighten. And it looks it looks great. I love it. It does. It looks lovely. Love it. I also like feel like it's grown out a little bit too. I mean we know it's grown out a little bit, but I'm trying to decide like if I want to add layers to it, you know how like growing out your hair is always kind of awkward, but I love the hair, love the color. It just feels so, so good to have a refresh. So yeah, I like had her do a little bit more brightness, pulled through, but then um, of course, like with the roots, she ended up teasing it. I knew it. it. I knew she'd teased it. I could tell. More of like a blended yeah. grow out. So it, Much like, better. It just blends so much better at the root versus like 
you know, a direct stop harsh line. So this should grow out really well. Ouch. Ouch. And she should need to have told her, the hairdresser should have known that she should have done that from the beginning. Okay, I'm so excited. To and I highly that. doubt that she even told her, really. She didn't tell her to tease the hair. What was she know? Valentine's Day. She can't even fucking blow dry her own hair properly. I'll link everything. I don't know if it's still available, hopefully, but <laughs> you girl did a little bit of damage. So first and foremost, I got my first pair of Skims slippers. Oh God. Okay, I'm back. Someone had to come and fix our microwave. I want to say Skims has had slippers before, but I've never bought them. So I'm excited. The whole collection was so cute. All the Valentine's Day drop was just so like, I don't know, feminine and cute. There were cherries, pink, purple. Um, I don't know. It was just, ugh, it just spoke to me. Okay, so let's unbox. <gasps> this I have never in my 50 years have known anyone that gets so excited about every season of the year and every seasonal occasion. She just has to celebrate every fucking occasion why does that look so sad why does that look so so sad oh my god i was watching <laughs> i was watching tara the other day and i actually liked that until katri shade went and said that it looked like, <laughs> it looked like a tampon on the end of the test string of the tampon <laughs> now i can't unsee that thanks tara <laughs> okay oh shit Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm doing it again. <clears throat> Hang on. Now, why can't I get my... There you go. Sorry, guys. You know a direct stop harsh line so this should grow out oh, really let's well. see what rubbish I'm so for. excited to do this little skims valentine's day haul i'll link everything i don't know if it's still available hopefully but <laughs> you girl did a little bit of damage so first and foremost i got my first pair of skims slippers okay i'm back someone had to come and fix our microwave i want to say skims has had slippers before but i've never bought them so I'm excited. The whole collection was so cute. All the Valentine's Day drop was just so like, I don't know, feminine and cute. There were cherries, pink, purple. Um, I don't know, it was just, ugh, it just spoke to me. Okay, so let's unbox <gasps> the slippers. Oh my God, they're so cute. My slippers right now are from Amazon. They're so cute, they have cherries. They're super affordable. I'll link these too. But the thing is with these kind of slippers, I wear them like constantly. So I usually have to replace them within like a couple months because they usually end. Yeah, well, that's what you do with slippers. You do have to replace them every couple of months. It's not like they're made of gold and they'll last forever. Wearing really thin or just like ripping at the seams. So these feel a bit more. Well, maybe with your feet, they'd rip at the seams. Those fucking claw feet high quality even the bottom's really cute with all like this textured s but it's hot pink and it has fuzzy they are so ugly they are so ugly skims written all over it i do think they're super cute and they are very it's the ugly. same material that all the other ones are made out of granted the the um sole might be might be made a bit better but the top is just made of that cheap fabric material that they very all are soft and just very valentine's -y. okay so something i had to grab Hang on, I'm going to look that up and see how much it is. I have to look up and see how much those shoes weigh. Slippers, they're fucking ugly. What the hell? Is she fucking kidding? I'm so sorry, guys. I need to restrain on my swearing. Is she kidding? Those Skims slippers are $88. $88. This is the same cow who was complaining about the perfume the other day that she didn't want to buy because she thought it was too expensive to put on her. I would much rather spend my money on a pair of, on a pair, on a, a nice perfume than $88 
on a freaking pair of slippers. Oh, my God, what a waste of money. This is also the woman that complains about when she buys any cream or anything for her face. Oh, it's a little bit exy. It's going on your face. It's okay to be a little bit exy. This is the only time you shouldn't really complain about something being expensive. But she goes and forks out $88 for a pair of freaking um, thingos. Now, before anyone comes at me and says to me, oh, you're jealous and blah, 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 go and get stuffed. That's what I'll say to you all. Go and get fucked. Get stuffed and you can fuck right off because I, I have no desire to go and buy an $88 pair of um, slippers. It's just highway robbery and she is an idiot and it just pisses me off even more is because on the things that she should, like even with her, um, and I know I've repeated myself before, but even with the... Uh, what was it, the psychologist, I think, she was complaining about how expensive it was, $80 or $90 per session or something. That's what you fucking need. You don't need an $88 pair of slippers. You need a psychologist. Grab was this adorable soft lounge set. So as you can see, it's got cherries and skims written on it. This is one of my favorite stuff. Did she buy that for a doll that she has somewhere that we can't see? Because that is fucking tiny. She is going to stretch that out to oblivion. Can we all see how tiny that is? I mean, she's put it up, she's put it up against her and it would take a, just a quarter of her body. Where does she think that's going to go? That must be damn fucking stretchy material. Stretchy material that I've never seen in my life. To sleep in. Um, it's tiny. The soft lounge tank with the matching boxer. Even they look short. Oh, sorry, even they look small. But maybe that's got elastic around it, so maybe it will stretch. I, I don't mind them. I think they're quite pretty, but I think the top's too fucking small on it. It is so comfy. I don't know what it is about this fabric. It's like so stretchy, so cooling, so comfortable. Like, How about you read the label? So nice for sleeping. Right. I have. Hang on, guys. I'm going to look this up. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. These $74. Hang on, is it $74 just for the top? Or is it with the bottom? It's it's $74 just for the top. $74 for the top. <sighs> no words. I know it's her money and she can do what she wants with it. Just don't fucking sit in front of the camera complaining about your face and all the shit that you've done on it when you complain that uh, going to the um, thingo is too expensive as well. Going to get someone to look at your um, your face is too – it's too expensive, guys. It's too expensive. Um, probably like five of these tanks and a few pairs of the boxers, um, but I wear them a lot of the time. So – Hang on. Hang on. Give me one second, guys. I'm just looking something up. Give me one second. Hang on. Still here. Where is it? Okay. So those boxes were seventy-four dollars. <laughs> those boxes were seventy-four dollars. Oh my God. Oh my God. But she complains that a dermatologist is too expensive, guys. It's too expensive. Too expensive. Let's spend eighty-eight dollars on some fucking slippers. Seventy-four dollars on a top and seventy-four dollars on some shorts. I just thought this print was so cute. Clearly, this was like my favorite um, print of the drop because then I also got a pair of the soft lounge Are you pants here. Kidding me? Kind of like a classic pajama pant, but in that same amazing fabric. But they're just so oh, they're so comfy. I love. <laughs> I have to look these up. I just have to, guys. I find I find these absolutely fucking ridiculous. I just find their prices absolutely. They're, they're pajamas. 
I can understand if it's a quality um, item of clothing that you're going to wear out. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, these pants are a these pajama pants are one hundred and ten dollars. Love lounging in these, and then you can kind of like layer with the tank, and then to go with those pants when I'm like just lounging and not wanting to like wear it. Oh my god, <laughs> it, does, it doesn't end. Long sleeve. Heavy. I'm not going to look that up. It's probably about eighty dollars as well. So luxe. So it's got buttons, which I would wear with it unbuttoned, but it just feels so great. So I'm definitely going to be lounging in this for a lot of the rest of winter okay and then they have what's the difference you lounge all the time I had some really cute shirts with little phrases on them i got the red one that says because she doesn't have enough with phrases on them rom-com so cute just like this clap are you fucking kidding me it says rom-com and she felt the need to buy it classic little t-shirt it's nice and stretchy i will say skims like the quality feels really good to me i've had a lot of my skims for like years now and it's held up really well um, I um it's a bit pricey. yeah you'd want it to for that fucking price see but it does hold up well but it's just cute really simple just a red t-shirt here like i said it says rom-com and it is embroidered with thread super cute and then to go with that they had some hair clips and i oh, please tell me you're joking please tell me i can't cope i can't i can't cope today guys <sighs> hang on hang on okay so that rom-com t-shirt was 88 dollars <laughs> oh my god oh my god now she's hang on, hang on let me get into the hair clip section on my telephone okay let's see which one she's got i am obsessed look at this hair clip i wear my hair in a clip almost every day oh my god you can't even tell it says skims and it's fucking ugly okay hang on let me find it are you kidding me <laughs> oh my god you fucking delusional it's 44 dollars. that clip there is 44 dollars because it says skims on it and it says skims and little jewels on each side they had different colors of this too but like how cute would this look together like oh with some jeans God. with sweats with whatever yeah I'm, I'm sure people are going to walk past you and they're just going to say oh my god that clip in her hair i must have it look at it it matches her red top oh my god i must get one Love it. and then the last thing that i grabbed is this pajama set i love a good pajama this set here comes you just with fucking bought pajama sets how many did you buy a pair of shorts now they look like that fit her that's exactly the size she needs that look like that fit her now but she's gonna say they're too big and it's very very soft fabric and it's just this um white with hearts and this matching pj top is so cute it has the skims logo on this little pocket it is super duper stretchy and it's got like a cute little collar and it just is such a nice silky soft fabric but i love that it's stretchy i don't like pajamas that aren't stretchy like i i just can't do it so that's what i grabbed from the skims valentine's collection i'm gonna wash what a fucking rip off in my opinion i'm sorry guys all right if the quality is there the quality is there but how many fucking pajama pants do you need everything and wear it asap but like i think this would just be like such a cute a valentine's day outfit so oh these please let me see how these feel on oh they're so soft you like my slippers so soft oh my god those pants they're gonna give me nightmares those pants give me fucking nightmares and i'm gonna have nightmares with those shoe those um slippers oh Ooh, they just feel so comfy on my feet i don't know why getting your hair done sucks the life out of you but it does. oh get fucked she did not just say that did she she did not just say getting your hair done sucks the life out of you were you standing up and doing it for three fucking hours you selfish cow how do you think the person felt that was doing your hair oh my god i don't believe it sucks the energy out of you getting your hair done sucks the energy out of you 
Hey, do you, are you guys listening to this? Are your followers hearing what you're saying? You entitled, entitled, spoiled brat. And I'm so tired, but I have dinner plans with- What the fuck is she tired from? Sitting in the chair? My friend tonight, so I'm meeting up with her oh. in about an hour. I've got to find it in me. <laughs> She's got to find it in her, guys. She's had her fucking hair done. I feel like smashing my fist through the wall. That's how angry I am at the moment. Um, she, oh my God. Oh my God. I just can't, I can't, I can't. She has to find it in her to go and have dinner with her friend because she's exhausted from sitting down in the hair salon chair, getting her fucking hair done. Can you get more entitled than that? Gotta find, find the strength. Let me know if you guys grab yeah, it. Find, find the strength, find it because there is something deeply fucking wrong with you if you're sitting down in a chair and that exhausts you there is something wrong with you go get more blood tests anything from the valentine's day collection and i'm gonna go head out in a little bit six and a half hours later all right you guys it is 8 13. so i've had this makeup on all day <sighs> I didn't touch it up once. Uh, this lash is coming off. <laughs> but that Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint, insane. Even when I got. I'm not listening to her makeup thing, guys. I just can't. I'm sorry. I can't. It's all just fucking rubbish makeup. Guys, it is the next day. It is 7 30 p.m. Um, I'm sorry this vlog was so boring. I've been kind of doing a lot like off camera because um, sometimes, you know, you just want to just want to live life. But this vlog has to go. You're doing a lot off camera. What the fuck are you doing off camera? You got a job and we didn't hear about it? What the hell? You don't even clean your house. So what is it you're doing off camera apart from eating? Up tomorrow. And I still need to finish editing it. So today <laughs> let me give you a rundown on my saturday today so went to our friend's house and she recently moved into a new house i actually showed it during a vlogmas and she wanted to look at home goods for some stuff it's not your friends it's your sister-in-law you fucking moron naturally i ended up getting a couple of things oh my we god she can't even go with her sister-in-law and support her in buying stuff without her coming home with a shitload of stuff she probably doesn't even fucking need and it's probably going to be all beige and boring like she is. Went to Marshalls and Home Goods. I did get these um, bath towels from DKNY because the ones in our upstairs bathroom are, you know, after a while they just get kind of gross. Even when you wash them, like you just want to get new ones. Um, so these will match our bathroom so well with like the gray and the taupe. This is kind of exactly the color of our color scheme in there. So I already immediately <laughs> when I got back. Color scheme in your whole fucking house is top and gray. I gave Bruno one of these smart bones. These were such a steal. I love getting the smart bones. They have no rawhide. Um, and this was $6.99 for a 24 pack. I feel like I spend so much more at a normal store for Bruno's treats. So that's what pisses me off too. She always comments on how much Bruno's food costs her but she'll get an $88 pair of slippers. I will fucking spend $88 on my dog before I spend it on me. Why no, Bubba? Because I love you, my angel. Yes, I do. Sorry, guys. He just woke up. He was sitting on. He was sitting next to me. I just don't. I can't get over that. She complains about how much her dog fucking food is too and the dog treats when she spends $88 on slippers. You loved your dog that much, you wouldn't even think about how much you spent on the food. Um, so I already gave him one of these. <laughs> there he is. He just came in from the bathroom. Did you go BBs? Did you go BBs? Did you go BBs? Guess what? I got you something. I got you something at the store. Of I got you. you your own lamb chop. He's never had a lamb chop before. <gasps> the fuck? It's bigger than him. He's not going to play with That's bigger than him. Look at Wow. <laughs> you want a lamb chop? Oh, you want a lamb chop? Oh, 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 oh. I think he thinks it's an actual dog. The poor dog. Go. <laughs> Look at the tail. <gasps> wow. 
Dogs apparently love the Looks like he's gonna hump it. Lamb chops. So I'm kind of curious how he's gonna feel about it. Um, all of his toys are like bigger than that. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to get him like a bigger one and see what he thinks. His tail's she wagging. Said all so. of his toys are bigger than that. No, they're not. What do you think? Uh -huh, he doesn't like it. He's Sucked in. The situation. Sucked in. Sniffing its butt. <laughs> you like lamb chop? I'm telling you, he thinks it's a real, something real. He's sniffing its butt. DHA loves lamb chops, but I can't say her name or he'll freak out. <laughs> you want to squeak again? You want to squeak? You want to squeak? You want to squeak? Go! Look, so okay, long. next. Um, <laughs> he left it there. He left it right where it is. I knew he wouldn't like it. It's too fucking big. Dogs don't want to carry something that's heavy. They want to carry something that's light, you moron. Oh, that's hilarious. That was a flat out. Um, I grabbed a pair of fire? these cushion. Flat out fail if I've ever seen one. They're clogs. They were only 20. I hate clogs. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really hate them. I don't like clogs on, on anybody. $5. $24.99. They are so cute. I personally am really here for like a clog moment. They are so fucking ugly. I'm sorry, my friends. I'm swearing way too much. I need to rein it in. I know. But I'm just, I'm in a mood. I, I could, I want to shove those. Oh, I can't even say what I want to shove them. And I feel like when I wear my Uggs, like these ones, they have that kind of cloggy shape. And yeah, they do. Because they're fucking ugly too. Hair is so comfy. Um, they only had an 11, but it fit just fine. And especially. Yeah, because your foot's huge. That's why it fit fine socks um but they're so squishy and ugly ugly and comfy cushioner shoes are so nice and i feel like these look so cute with like straight leg jeans and like a t-shirt i'm an old lady I, I like clogs i don't know sue me i like them and i thought about getting burke that's so fucking irritating and these were just so much cheaper and more comfortable so mm. again she cuts corners where she shouldn't, where something on her feet that she needs, especially with her weight, to have good quality shoes, she will cut corners because she will not buy the Birkenstock. She will buy a cheaper brand. That's how intelligent she is. But anything that's materialistic, that's um, reusable and you can throw away in a few months, she'll spend hundreds on them. It was a good price. Okay, yeah. and then lastly, oh, my God, my friend and I had some scores. Your sister-in-law, not your friend. Like so much good clearance. So I have been eyeing on Amazon. So there's like this spot on our kitchen. Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. That is disgusting. What the fuck is that? Do you know what that looks like? That looks like her earrings. When she puts her earrings on and they go sideways. That's what that looks like. Island, like the galley part. That's got no day, no decor. <laughs> and I've been trying to figure out what I want to put there because I don't want to do more greenery. I have a lot of greenery. Okay. So she has a little spot in her kitchen, galleyway, that has no decor on it and she needs to fill it. She needs to fill it. I just don't fucking believe it. She can't, she can't leave it empty. She just can't leave it empty. She has to fill every nook and cranny. I've just been trying to like figure out what I want to put there. So oh. it did also come in. So we're ending this vlog on a high note. I got a piece of art to lean against the wall and then I wanted to put some sort of vase next to it. I mean, I went on Amazon. It was like $36 and it looked just like this. This was on sale for $8. Oh my God. And it's I so they cute. It's like it a matte. For free? for free. If they were giving it away to me, I wouldn't have it. I would smash it on the way out of the store ceramic finish i just it's the perfect size because it's i don't want something big over there so we'll set that up i'm going to put the picture there i have to go get it off the front porch and then i also got um a seasonal piece oh i think God. this is so cute oh, she doesn't know if she's in valentine's or she doesn't fucking know if she's an easter my god oh my god he's so fucking delusional Oh, no, no, seriously. She needs mental help. Oh, guys, there's just something not right with her. There is something not fucking right with her in the head, I tell you what. This was only 9 dollars 
and I think I want to put like a seasonal piece over on that part of the kitchen island or kitchen counter as well and look how cute this is I love it now that we've made it to February I feel more comfortable you know because I have out a couple bunnies from the Dollar Tree but yeah Easter is at the end of March so I if you want to decorate for spring now <laughs> you're a fucking idiot you are just an absolute moron that has no life end of story end of story you have no life go for it I have been for a while so um this is so cute I love the checkered outfit and I love the little like woven carrot the striped ears so cute and it's um got like beans in the bottom so it stays upright it's got a heavy weight to it oh, they had so much cute freaking valentines and easter stuff but we did pretty good pretty much just stuff that we needed and then the funny no, part no 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 you didn't need it you didn't need it you wanted it your house is full of fucking clutter you didn't need it you wanted it <laughs> we ended up making uh homemade pickle kits with stuff from oh god please serenity now serenity now <laughs> oh my god i don't know if you know you guys watch seinfeld but that's i feel like george costanza at the moment i need to just yell out serenity now because she is driving me insane a pickled what whole foods and they were so good i'm sorry i didn't vlog it i was really just being like present and trying to be intentional so here's what we used and they were actually really good so these um grillo's pickles the only thing is these are very garlicky but they're the only like whole size pickles i would do ones that are not as garlicky these are amazing on their own not quite for the pickle challenge but it did work what fucking pickle challenge what pickle challenge oh my god it must be a tiktok thing for what we needed then we put in some of these chili lime faux tacos. Uh, is she fucking serious yeah that's just what your gastric bypass asked for oh my god what the hell oh what is that and she's making pickles i'm putting that shit in it Pockies, which was great chamoy and it was really good from siete and they also i needed more tahini anyway and then sour rings because that was only sour candy they had and then it, she's putting all this shit in to make her gherkins oh my god no she's a toddler she's wrapped it toddler. in these oh. she wrapped it in fruit things in a fruit wrap things the pickles she wrapped in a fruit thing oh my god it was so good oh serenity no so if you want to make one cause I, the, all, I feel like all the comments in like the chamoy pickle videos are like so much red dye 40 so you can make them without the red dye 40 because you don't think you made them any healthier you fucking moron none of this had red dye 40 so not that you can't have that but if you didn't want to this is an option you can go to a regular grocery store and get the stuff to kind of finagle it yourself and it was really or you can just buy traditional homemade gherkins how about that or if you want to make them yourself all you freaking need is a bit of herbs and spices and you put them in vinegar how does that sound and they pickle have you ever heard of that vinegar it pickles really good i'm sorry i didn't vlog it but very good so let me let me set up my little spot for the decor let me show you first and foremost the empty space so next to the air fryer in between is she serious she has that empty space it, again it's like the void she can't fill she has to fill it with something because oh my god my in my area any there i have an area like this right and i have a salt shake a uh, salt shaker oh, i do have a salt shaker here i have a little salt shaker and then i have um uh what do you call it uh salt that i use for co like a cooking uh, cooking salt and then I have my sugar. The and that's all I need. The rest is empty. I don't have to fill it up with shit that I don't have to that you don't need. She's gonna put the bunny rabbit there. Oh my god, guys! I'm so sorry if you can hear my stomach. It just will not stop giggling. 
at the sink, this little spot right here. So let's go get I'm gonna put it near the air fryer so it can get nice and greasy. Great, Alexandra, great thinking. Put some material rabbit near your air fryer. With artwork, it should be at the front door. It should be at the front door. I'm working out why I think she likes um, Bruno, loves Bruno, because he looks like he's got a Sherpa coat. I do it. Oh my God, who's so happy? Who's so happy? You're beautiful. We got it, you guys. Okay, so this is so cute, and they had so many different ones here. Whoa. This was such Oh my God. <gasps> Oh my God, not another piece of artwork. Not another piece of artwork, is it? Oh my God. Tara, where are you? She's bought another piece. It's so cute. This was such a great find, you guys, and such a good price because you guys know art is like expensive. So if you're someone like me who. Art is something you invest in, and you change it every five seconds likes to constantly you know change up your decor um yeah because you're cheap and techy that's why and you want something for a good price this is amazing they had so many cute variations and sizes it's so on brand with this over here but i feel like they're different enough and they're going to be on opposite sides of i actually prefer this one more than i do that one i think that's pretty but let's see where she's going to put it. Does she have room to put it? She just fucking buy it for the sake of, and I hate these. I hate these in the hallway. Hate them with the passion. Of the kitchen. You guys also told me you think that these look like pears, not oranges. And I can kind of see it on this one. I don't know. I don't know. She's probably never eaten a pear in her life. That's why she doesn't know what it looks like. But this one has um, multiple fruits. They had a pomegranate one too. But I like this one a little bit more, and I like the green in it. So I was Wait, gonna, like, she can't be. Oh my god, she's she's gonna put it in that section. Pop this right here. Oh, that's like the perfect. Per oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. And then I was just gonna like boop my little guy here. Oh my oh, god. That's so oh cute. my oh, god. god. Oh my god. Dear Jesus. On. Where do I want to put? I kind of like to just. I, I haven't seen anything so ugly like this in my life. It is so ugly. I'm not talking about the painting, I'm talking about this vase. Arrange, arrange things. So cute. I want to make his ear a little floppy. Okay, so. I... Oh my god, no. No, it looks ridiculous. Maybe that by itself. Okay, maybe that by itself. It can bring a pop of color, which would look nice, maybe. And it needs to be pushed against the wall a bit more because it's annoying me how it's sitting out. That definitely no, and that definitely no. What the fuck is she thinking? I don't know about you guys, but my air fryer, it's – there's a lot of shit that comes out of my air fryer, steam, like, not steam-wise, but I don't know what it is, the heat? I wouldn't put fucking material, anything material next to there. You guys are greasy. Oh, my God. No. Sorry, guys. Oh, almost at the end. Changed her mind, did she? The painting. So we will see what else we find. I feel like I just need something like small oh, no. right here, but maybe I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. There, there's something mentally wrong. I'm sorry. There is something wrong with her mentally. She feels like she needs something there to fill in that gap. You are doing it to fill the gap in your own life. Maybe I don't. Anyway, the painting is a 10 out of 10. So... Really? Oh my god, that rabbit looks fucking ridiculous. A good price. Check out the ones. Um, I'll link it and all the other ones they have if you need like some good art. But anyway, I gotta edit this vlog, so I'm glad we ended it on a little bit more of a fun note. But I'm going out with my mom tomorrow, so the next vlog will be more fun. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again. And if How about you fuck right off? How's that sound? Moron. All right, guys, that's it for this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, so sorry if I swore too much. Or my feistiness or whatever. Um, if you don't if you don't like it, don't don't watch it. <laughs> you don't want to hear me swearing. I can't help it. It's just me. I will try and rein it in a little bit. But um, 
oh, she just annoys the hell out of me. And especially today out of all days, I want to punch her into next week. All right, my lovelies, I will um, edit this and get it up for you guys so you can have a watch. I can't wait for later on. I'm going to uh, sit down and watch uh, Country Shade Trees. Oh, excuse me, Country Shade Trees' reaction to this. I'm dying to see what she's <laughs> reaction Tara has. All right, my beautiful friends. Uh, thank you all. Um, thank you for everyone who's been messaging me. I know a lot of people commented on Sinatra's um, picture. I haven't yet commented, replied to anyone. I haven't had a chance yet. Um, it's been a, a long morning or afternoon for me. It's currently 4.38. It feels like it's midnight to me. But anyway. All right, my lovelies. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.